رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اهلي السلام عليكم so a lot can be said about the palestine israel issue and the israeli oppression but in this particular video i'll focus on a particular angle on what an ordinary muslim should be doing not just now but what his general role action his uh, general lifestyle should be of course these events are not uh, should not be a surprise at least for the muslims these were nothing but a natural conclusion to the natural lifestyle that the muslims were living they were living a lavish a worldly lifestyle away from religion and they were losing their power their talent their uh, their capabilities and selling themselves off to the western world to the non muslims and it was this catas- catastrophe that happened in gaza was nothing but a manifestation of the weakness of the muslims that was already there that was already there the declining muslim ummah that was declining from from centuries this was nothing but yet another manifestation of that declining ummah however what an ordinary muslim should do not only in such circumstances but as a lifestyle is that he should know that it is not insignificant his actions his decisions his lifestyle his day to day routines they are not insignificant why because you know for example this wall or any wall is made of bricks and bricks are made of small pieces of sand if those pieces of sand did not come together the bricks would not have been made and if the bricks were not placed in a particular order the walls would not have been made and the idea is every single ordinary muslim has a duty towards the entire ummah it's not that he can disregard himself and say it's my choice i can eat however i like i can sleep however i like i can earn however i like i can live a lazy lifestyle i can give up prayers i can commit sins i can look at the haram i can commit theft i can steal people's money i'm just one person what does it matter it all matters if imagine if one of the bricks was pulled out of this wall it will weaken the wall it will show that weakness as well and uh the strength of the building would weaken in the same way the muslims themselves each and every individual muslim the ordinary muslim should know that the strength of every single muslim defines the strength of the entire ummah the local properties define the global properties the type of material you choose to construct something defines the property of the entire the in final product so it's not that you can uh, excuse yourself and uh, just belittle yourself or make an excuse that i'm a single person how would i ever affect the ummah and you know these natural consequences as just just as we saw it in gaza show that the of course they show that the muslim ummah has weakened but they show what the ordinary muslims were up to all this time because this was just a conclusion and natural consequence of the result and you know uh, it's not just that uh, uh, as we uh, each and every ordinary muslim for example if a single person the way it affects uh, uh, the total uh, the the entire world system the way ordinary muslims act is very simple to understand if you realize that for example each and every single person if one person decides that i'm going to give up sins i'm going to act righteously i'm going to follow the quran and the sunnah his faith will become stronger and once his faith becomes stronger what would happen is that when any time of crisis comes he knows that he should not uh, when any difficulty strikes him he should he knows that he should not earn a haram living he should not make the wrong decisions he knows that now is the time he'll be strong from the, his insights there and he would be 
much more dedicated to uh, things like for example doing the boycott boycotting the companies he would he would find it much more easier to boycott he would find it much more easier to make dua much more sincere duas he would he would find it much more easier to share the news on the social media as compared to a muslim who's living a life of sins and he doesn't really care about the situation his iman is really weak and thus in times of crisis or in difficult situations he himself will back off or he will find it very difficult uh, by cutting the products or he will find it very difficult to speak the truth or s- stand with the truth or so your individual personal decisions actually do decide the fate of the fate of the ummah the entire ummah and as gradually we become stronger and stronger each and every person becomes stronger and stronger the ummah uh, that for example i personally if i start training in the gym i become stronger and stronger and stronger i become more capable of uh, lifting a heavier and and heavier load likewise if the ummah becomes stronger in every field financial uh, fields intellectual fields spiritual fields mental fields in each and every field of life the more we stronger we become the more capable the ummah entire ummah becomes because we have more capable individu- individuals and it's it's natural if you if you see and if the world sees us they'll be intimidated you know why because for example if i give you the most uh, if you give if you, if i give an example if you're walking by and of course you shouldn't do this but if you imagine if there's a weak person coming it's easier to sidestep him overlook him or shove him to the side you shouldn't do, be doing it but it's easier to um, basically you're not internally intimidated by him but if a strong powerful muscular person is walking by you'd be you become more conscious you know this is a particular example i i mean if you can even take an example of a more general example if a, in in a, in a in a dark and uh, isolated road if if one man if a if a man is walking by and a woman comes by she would be somehow intimidated as as a general rule you know as a general rule that men are st- uh, physically stronger than women so she should be should become very conscious as a general rule because it's 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 nature right likewise if we as a umma every individual becomes so strong that they look physically strong they're mentally strong they're intellectually strong they're spiritually strong it will be very difficult for for example uh, any non muslim to make the wrong move because they know that if we make the wrong move they're not going to accept it if we start launching our companies they they'll easily boycott it side step it so every single muslim has at least the responsibility on his individual level if he says that me not getting up for fajr me not fasting in ramadan me not doing this me lying here cheating here doesn't really matter it, it surely matters it weakens and it dents the umma in that particular place where you are where you're showing the weakness the umma is has been dented at that point so show your uh, strength by individually developing yourself and don't belittle yourself and by the way uh keep up the keep, keep your personal development up but at the same time of course you should be you should be doing the boycotts and making the duas for the people of gaza and all that that is true but at the same time do not belittle yourself and don't think that my personal decisions don't affect the umma they definitely do whatever you do has a great impact on others and simply sometimes it's it's only a part of intimid- intimidation telling the other people that you know what they've got so many powerful people they are simply by knowing sometimes simply by knowing the statistics it sends shivers down the spine of the enemies so that was my message to you keep up the boycotts keep making dua for the people of gaza and the rest of the oppressed people as well uh may allah help them may allah guide them may allah make the umma realize their mistakes and may allah once again give us that bright bright future that we once were that once the muslims were and can all be through the uh, through islam and through the quran subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik